How good is Stable Diffusion? Paint the letter A. Well, I can tell you whatever, but this is not a letter A. We got a lot, an X. Okay, this is not what we are looking for. Now, maybe draw the letter A. Okay, this is a T. This is an absolute nothing, and uh, this is nothing at all. So beautiful. So what about D letter A? The most simple term we can imagine. We have the full stable diffusion, and this is maximum a B. This is something. And I'm looking forward to whatever this will be, and no. So, show me the letter A. The, the, now, now we have it. I can feel it at uh, the, the diffuse. Now, show me the letter A. No, this is nothing. This is an X and a G or a Z. This is infinity. No. Now, let's increase the complexity of the text. A on a green canvas. Yeah, there was an A. There was an A. Show me again. No, this is not. No, no, no. This is, this is a green something. This is absolute abstract. No, this is okay. Now, if you think that stable diffusion is better, paint the letter A. Look at this. There's everything except a letter A, and this is with the full version. Draw the letter A. Now you have the action with this, and it's nice, but not at all a letter A. Unable to draw a letter. Now draw a blue circle. Now we are in geometry. Now, now we know that this is a circle, yes, but yeah, yeah, this is a blue, um, a set of blue circles. Okay, this is, well, yes. Okay, what about paint a yellow sphere? Now, I hope that Stable diffusion does, yes, this is a yellow, it's a yellow, yes, a yellow, uh, it's a yellow circle, but it's not a sphere. Okay, well, what we are looking at, yeah, yeah, look, there's something three-dimensional coming up with this one. Okay, maybe we have to add a dimension in the text explicitly. So let's do this. Draw a blue circle in 3D. Yes, diffuse the rest. So let's have a look how this is gonna look like. And on the other side, Yes, I'll show you in a second. But first we draw a blue circle in 3D. So now for sure, this is a two-dimensional circle. Now this is a circle on a, on a plane. This is maybe with some shading. This is an X, no, this is nothing at all. No, this, this is not it. Yeah, there's the perspective kind of, no, no, I'm not really happy. But look at this, paint a yellow 3D sphere. This was nice. Yeah, it's a balloon. Yeah, it, it, this is almost something. Now, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. A sphere, a yellow sphere. Yes, we achieved what we set out to do. Now, why this result? What does it tell us in our understanding of the model? What about the fusion of those image tokens? Now, is the semantic meaning of the words really coming through? And the fusion of text and image token, do they work? Now, it's clear that the logic deduction is missing. But hey, this is just our seventh step in genera generative models. Look where we started, in variational autoencoders. Then we had vector quantized autoencoders. Then we had a diffusion probabilistic model based on Markov chain. We took the image supervision on UNAT. We invented latent diffusion model with cross attention mechanism, and our neural backbone is a time conditional unit. We are just at the beginning. The future will be beautiful. And if you want to learn more, I have three new videos coming up. The first one from PCA to variational autoencoders. The second one from variational autoencoders to discrete latent space algorithms. And then finally, the third one is about vector quantized variational autoencoders to latent diffusion models and finally to stable diffusion. If you want to understand the theory behind all of this, 